Now Sri Vallavi Govindra. Sir, I was asked to speak 15 minutes, sir. No, no. <laughs> Only 10 minutes. My party told me, no, sir. No. 10 minutes enough. Your okay, party, sir. Your okay, sir. Okay, Only 10 minutes. minutes. Okay, sir. Oh, you are generous enough. Only 10, 10 minutes. 10 minutes enough. Deputy Chairman, sir. I thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak on the working of this very important ministry and electricity. How is that? It is one of the most important blessings science has given to mankind, sir. Honorable members, I have spoken at length about various issues, right from production to distribution to theft. As I have limited time at my disposal, I limit myself to the power scenario in the in Telangana state. How it is ceiling under power crisis and steps needed to be taken by the union government to supplement the efforts of Telangana state, sir. Sir, the irony of the state of Telangana is uh, see, that, it, that in spite of having abundant natural resources such as coal, now water, see, see, sun, Rati, See, your party has only left two minutes. I didn't know that. So take only five minutes. You are generous enough to give ten minutes. Uh, no, I didn't know. It's you, you are generous enough no, to No, sir. They asked me to speak 15 minutes, sir. No, but your, your My members party have asked taken me more to time. speak 15 minutes. Your members have taken you more time. What can I do? Ten minutes. <laughs> All right. You take five, six minutes. Okay. Yes, sir, you are the irony of the state of Telangana in yes. front of... Yes. First, I came to the status status of hydro power projects in Telangana, sir. The installed capacity of hydro Hydral projects is 2,542 megawatts, and the major projects are Nagajan Sagar with 815 megawatts, Sri Shalem left bank canal with 900 megawatts, and lower Sileru. This, is, this has been thefted from us, that is 460 megawatts, sir. But as the minister is very well aware that hydral generation cannot be done throughout the year. It may be only 100, 220 day, days in a year, sir. So we are not getting sufficient generation from the idle power. This is resulting in depending more on thermal power, sir. Apart from the above, no. since we have two important rivers flowing through Telangana, sir, we can construct a series of dam, dams on River Godavari to achieve the twin objectives of providing irrigation facilities to lakhs of acres and also generate power. I just mentioned some of the dams that we, that we can construct as a part of the series dams at Ellampelli, Kantalapelli, Dhumugudam and also at Badracharam. If we complete this, it is estimated that we can get generate 2,000 megawatts of power and this can be available for 120 days which would be sufficient to lift the water to entire Telangana for various locations of Godavari, sir. Alternatively, if diversion of water from Pranaita to Elampelli on River Godavari becomes difficult, then, then construction of a major dam at Suraram on Godavari on the ridge, ridge line of the Pranaita and Indravati rivers be taken up the diversion of 150 TMC of water to 50 lakhs acres of arid areas of Telangana, sir. And with cooperation of Maharashtra and Karnaka, Karnataka and Chhattisgarh, we can, we can link the Bhima with Manjira at higher, level, higher elevation will benefit Mahbub Nagar, Madak and Rangarati districts, sir. Now I came to thermal power capacity. It is availability in Telangana, sir. We have abundant coal reserves in the state. Yes. The AP Genco installed capacity is 2,282 megawatts, sir. Of course, there is an additional center share, 850 megawatts. All put together, the total installed capacity is only 3,132 megawatt in Telangana, sir. But we, you look at the demand and generation there is nearly 47% gap, sir. The demand is 143, 143 million units per day, but the generation is only 75 million units per day, sir. 
it means that there is 47 percent gap between demand and supply. So to bridge this, I would, I would suggest for the consideration of the Honorable Minister to facilitate completion of the following projects which will pave the way for capacity addition and results in redu reducing the power shortage in Telangana state. I request the Honorable Minister to complete the following projects on first track Kakatiya TPS stage second with 600 megawatts capacity, Kottagudam TPS stage seven with 800 megawatts capacity, Ramgundam TPP with 1320 megawatts capacity, Satupalli TPP with 1000 megawatt capacity, sir. Apart from the above feasibility study has been completed in respect of Kakatiya TPP stage third with 1,600 megawatts, sir. Kadwal TPP and Nizamabad TPP, Kakadiya TTP is an expansion project. In respect of the other two projects, Gadwal and Nizamabad, the inputs such as water, land, and transmission connectivity are, are available, sir. But the only thing is that coal linkage have to be given. Secondly, AB Reorganization Act mandates by NTPC now to set up Two minutes, sir. Set up 4,000 megawatts unit in Telangana, sir. But I understand that no action has been taken so far. I request the NTPC may be directed to take up and complete the same in a, in a fixed time schedule, sir. I request the Honorable Minister to help the state financially and otherwise so that the above projects are taken up and completed in time-bound manner, sir. Sir, there are also some gas, gas plants which are, which are languishing for want of gas, sir. They are Shankarpilli gas project with 1,000 megawatts pending from last 20 years, sir. Yes, yes. And Karimnagar gas plant with 2,100 megawatts is pending since last 20 years, sir. These are waiting for gas linkage to the tune of 9.72 mm yes, SCMD for Karimnagar yeah, plus. and 4.62 mm MMSDD for Shankar Pelli, sir. No, you are I request the Honorable Minister to discuss this issue with the Petroleum Minister yes, and daily submission gas for their Your generation. Your party has exhausted time. There is one more speaker also. Uh, only yeah, two yeah, minutes, yeah. sir. Two what minutes. can I do? Yeah. What can I do? I request no the Honorable time. Minister to discuss with this okay. with Petroleum Minister. You are only reading also. We are able to complete Please. these projects. Please. I have no doubt. And neither we can depend on okay. our neighboring states like Chhattisgarh okay, please. or Center or and private okay. IPPs. Now, please. Only one, one, sir. This is very mm. important, mm. sir. Yes, sir, yes. solar power yes, is sir. green power. No, that is all so many. Everybody said that trust. point. No need. Is being Mr. Put on solar no, power. Solar sir. power, everybody is Our country what has is the point? advantage of Sri having sunlight for 300 See, you need not repeat all what others have said. What others ah. have said, why do you repeat? Continuing with the ah, importance solar, of the solar power, everybody said. I welcome the thrust given by Finance Minister on Simple solar energy, sir. Sit down. The proposal to take up ultra-mega solar power projects on the lines of UMPPP and allocation of 500 crores, 400 crores for the agriculture from set, sir. Here is one important thing you now have please, to note, sir. Now, please, Governor Eddie, please. Sir, here only, only please. one important thing you have to note, sir. The house also should note, sir. The point is, government is collecting 14,000 crores in the form of cess on coal for developing solar power every year. In the budget proposals, finance minister allocated only 1,000 crores no, for please. taking up new projects. No, please. So, what will happen? People okay, that's enough. who has to get subsidy bills, okay. 3,210. All right. Now, Mr. Governor, Pandey, you start. The nothing solar more will go on record. Nothing more will go on record, Sir Avinash Pandey. No, nothing more will go on Avinash Pandey.